Daily Broadside, day 330. I used to work with a lady who uh, nobody liked her. She was not respected at all, and most people hated her. But anyway, I was in her office one day, and I walked in, and uh, it was a picture of a guy in like a hat and a trench coat, looking or, you know, a raincoat, I guess. Uh, one of those gray raincoats the guys wore back in the day. Maybe still do, I don't know. And I was like, uh, just making small talk, and I was like, who's that, your dad? She's like, and she looked at me like I was the dumbest person on earth. And she was like, and I'm not, I'm like, maybe close, but I'm not. And, uh, she's like, that's Tom Landry. I'm like, who's that? Your dad? Your dad's name is Tom. I don't know who Tom Landry is. Apparently it's some big to do Dallas Cowboy football coach. And, uh, it's just a weird thing to put on your wall. I mean, you can be a Cowboys fan all you want. It's just strange. Um, but anyway, um, I was the dumb one, right? But she's got a Tom Landry picture on her wall, whatever. I've decided that DOT workers, people that work paving the highways in the middle of the night especially, are more than likely the most unhealthy people on planet Earth. First of all, they're working third shift. The sleep's already screwed up, you know. They probably medicate, self-medicate with alcohol and light drugs at the very least. A lot of them, not all of them, but some of them. They, um, you know, so they're not getting their sleep. They're probably not got a gym membership. They are smoking and dipping and chewing and everything, snuffing everything that you can get your hands on to, to stimulate their system. They're eating out of convenience stores, you know, potted meats and spams and Vienna sausages and crackers and chips and Mountain Dew and all this crap that shouldn't go in your body as frequently as they probably put it in their body. Um, they're probably dealing with a lot of stress because the, um, there's probably not a lot of respect with the turnover from the subordinates to the, uh, superior. So they probably get yelled at and cussed at a lot, sent home if they're late, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, they're constantly, I mean, it's physical work, you know, whether you're spreading asphalt and smoothing it after they pave it or cleaning up or whatever. I mean, the low man on the totem pole on that job is not going to have a cush job by any stretch of the imagination. You got all those fumes and everything you're breathing all the time. There's nothing really healthy about that job. And uh, I think I came up when I was thinking about it with a few other things. I can't even recall, but it was like just check mark, check mark, check mark. You imagine going to the uh, physical, you know, and your doctor's like, so how's your health and what do you do this? And then the doctor's like, good Lord, man, you know, find a desk job somewhere. This is killing you. This is killing you in early death. Not to mention the ones that work during the sun or during the, the, the daylight. The sun, man. I mean, they look like leather purses, you know? They're just, they look like the chick in uh, There Goes Mary or come something. There's something, there's something about Mary, right? Just that leather countenance just completely destroyed. Your farmer tan is just permanent. I don't get it. You know what I have a problem with in this country is I don't like the fact that, you know, I, I get we have to have some courtroom decorum and all, right? But I take a large issue with the fact that we have to hold these judges in such esteem and call them your honor and stand up when they come in the room and all this. How far have we really gotten from kingdoms, you know? Uh, I don't like that, okay? We'll respect the fact that you're in charge of this courtroom and, and you should be keeping it, uh, you know, in order. Don't let outbursts and all that stuff detract from the trial and all that stuff. But I'm not calling you your honor. I'm not standing up when you come in the room. Like, what is that all about? You know, why don't you go back to wearing a powdered wig, man? I, you know, um, you know, maybe we'd respect you more if uh, if we did that. And I was reading some comments last night, and some girl had posted something, right? And so I immediately go to the comments. Anytime there's more than like a thousand, I'm starting reading all this stuff, and it was just making me laugh. And one dude was like, I think it was one of those ones like, you know, uh, some chick showing herself off, you know, and then trying to get, you know, likes by saying, hey, you know, would you date me or something like that? And I see, you know, 1800 comments and I can't get there fast enough. So I'm reading through it. And one guy says something to the effect of, uh, yeah, I w I'd, I'd be totally interested. I've had a dry spell since my wife died in November. I'm like, damn. <laughs> and I couldn't tell if it was a joke or if he was being serious. But let's pretend for a minute that he was being serious. I, I, hey, way to get back on the horse, man. Uh, wife dies November 13th. You're looking on TikTok for a date, you know, early February. I mean, that's a great timetable. I, I think, I don't think anything can go wrong with that. No, no hesitation whatsoever. I think pull the trigger on anybody that comes down your path. Uh, I'm sure you won't get scammed for money.